In this video I will show you how to get access to process memory, how to read bytes right from memory and save it to the file, and how to overwrite section in process memory with bytes read it from the file. Very helpful skill in self-modified exe files and many other kind of malware. We of course will compare our results to debugger to see if it really works. Process ID to open process memory we have to get process ID, PID, its unique process identifier. To get process ID of our app we are gonna use get current process ID function. This is how it works. First, printing intro. Here we are calling for get current process ID. In EAX register should be PID of this app. Here. We are printing results. Like you see, we have PID of our app. Now we can open process. Opening process. To get access to process memory, we have to open it by open process function. Here we are getting PID of our app. If we have PID, then we can open it by open process function. In video description you should find Microsoft manual of this function. Printing results and closing process handle by close handle. If we have access to process, we will be able to change its memory. Reading process memory. Now it's time for an example of how it's work. I add second section to the file that only prints hello world. In standard execution of this app, hello world will never be executed. If you want to see how to change address of entry point, you should see this video. We are going to read this section by read process memory and save it to the file. How to locate address of this function? I used only debugger this time. This isn't video about how to read exe file. This video is in the description. Here is address of second section. Here is real size of this section. This is how this section looks in hex dump. This is how data section looks like. Getting pit. Opening process in red mode. Saving handle to the process as local var. Everything is in the comments. Allocating buffer of size of the section by malloc. And also saving it as a local var. Here we are using reading process memory to read section to the buffer with specified size and from right address. If everything is fine, we can save it to the file arc is given by push, like you see. Saving section to the file is just standard file operation procedure. Here we are creating file by create file. Saving handle to that file. Then writing buffer into it and close that file. Let's see how it's work. Everything is fine, but how to check if this is really correct? In debugger we can see how this section looks in hex dump. That's why I've created file hex print that gives us hex dump of any file that we will give an argument. Let's take a look on code of file hex print. Checking arguments. 
Here we are reading file into buffer. Whole process is explained in C virus example video. If we have file, then we can print it in hex. This is how it looks. Like you see, it can even print exe files. Let's check what's inside file second dump dot sec. Here we have dump from debugger and dump from our app. We have the same exact output. Writing data into process memory. Now let's overwrite second section by nopes. NOP is assembly instruction that means no operation. It's just empty instruction that doing nothing but sometimes is very helpful. To do this, we have to create file filled up with knobs of the size of the second section. And this app will do it. Here we are opening file, then writing NOP instruction into it in for loop. Let's see if this working. We have file. Now let's check what's inside by file hex print. Same size and same chars. Go to overwrite second section. Here is the name of the nope file. Like in previous examples, we are getting pit of process, then opening it. Here we are allocating memory for buffer, then giving it as an argument. Red nope file function is also standard file operation procedure. Opening file in red mode. Reading file and closing it. If we have file in buffer, we can overwrite second section in memory by write process memory. Specified size and address. Let's see how it's working. Of course we can't see this now. We have to use Oli to see if section is really changed. Let's locate section in dump. Now let's set breakpoint on write process memory function and after step over this function, section should be changed and overwritten by knobs from file. And like you see everything is overwritten. So this code really works. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.